Today we are opening some of Yu-Gi-Oh's rarest products for 100,000 subscribers. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Yesterday we hit 100,000 subscribers on the live stream. If you were there, thank you so much for the support. Today we are doing the 100,000 subscriber special video. Before we get into everything, I do have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this Yadagrasu Secret Rare. This is an LOD-EN copy, which is pretty difficult to find. We got a Black Cluster Soldier original print from IOC, and then a Chaos Emperor Dragon. I figured we had 100,000, let's do an epic giveaway. We also had an epic giveaway in the live stream yesterday, so go check that out. All 100,000 subscriber giveaway stuff. Simply like the video, be subscribed to the channel, and let me know in the comments what you liked most about the channel in the last 100,000 subscribers, all the moments we've had. Any of that enters you into the giveaway. Also, as you notice back there, my mom brought me some balloons for 100,000. Also, there was a cake. She brought this meant to be on the live stream and it did not make it in time. So we're putting it in the video. So what we are opening today, you guys have seen and heard about Retro Pack 2, an entire box. There are eight mini boxes in here, which means 24 packs. That's going to be crazy. Then we have a Retro Pack 1, supposedly heavy, which means we should get a hollow. We are 0 for 8 ever getting a hollow, so we've never gotten one out of Retro Pack 1, so it could be crazy. Then we have one of the blisters you saw in the video the other day. First edition Invasion of Chaos. Still going for that Black Cluster Soldier. Maybe we'll pull it out of first edition. We have a first edition Metal Raiders pack from Vintage Yu-Gi-Oh's box break. There were not Ultra Rares pulled in that break, so maybe we can pull something crazy like Time Wizard or something like that. And then we have have a premium gold that we'll be opening up. This was for a viewer that I actually met while I'm in Arizona. He said he was going to send me this and I was like, hey, can I put this in the 100k? And he's like, heck yeah. I don't know what order to go in. Let's start off with the premium gold because the other ones are just crazy valuable. This one is probably the least valuable. It's still a pretty valuable pack, but let's start off with the premium gold. Also, it's not mine, so we can kind of do this one first. I can't remember exactly what's in this set, but I know that gold rares values or in terms of people like actually liking them have gone way up. People used to hate these rares and now they're like huge fans. And they don't like the new gold rare. They like these now. In Inside of this big box, there's, oh, there's more than one pack. I thought there was only the one packer, but this has three packs. All right, let's open the very first one. Premium gold. What will we pull? Is this the one that you can pull the BLS in? I'm not sure. So I think there's a secret rare. Uh oh, my battery is low. I need to charge that. Lone Fire Blossom. We have Slide for the Sky Dragon. Secret rare. Secret gold rare, I think you call it. If you guys can see that. It's kind of actually hard to see that secret rare, but that's probably one of the best pulls. We got Ancient Fairy Dragon alternate art. Spirit Reaper is a good pull. And a Summoner Monk. That's already a good start. Okay, two more packs. I had to uh, go get my charger. So I really don't want this video to not be seen. I mean, not get recorded. So we have already had to go wash our hands. We had to record. You know, a lot of crazy stuff. Gimmick Puppet Magnet. So there's only one secret. We pulled the Slifer out of ours. That was Oh, never mind. There's two. Try Edge. Ooh, Chimera Tech Over Dragon. And, ooh, Phoenix Wing Wing Bot. Phoenix Wing Wind Blast. That's actually a pretty cool card for GOAT format. And other formats as well. Third pack, Premium Gold. So far, been pretty good. Oh, we've got the uh, number 32 Shark Drake. Very nice. Silent Wobby. This card's worth a couple bucks. Number 82, Heartland Draco. I don't remember this card. Very interesting. Rise of the Storm Monarch. That's a good one. And Breaker. Wow, what an epic special edition. That was really good. Or whatever you call these things. Let's get into the Retro Pack 2 booster box. This one was... I actually don't even need the knife because it's European box. So you can just open it like this. We are looking for the Secret Rare Blue Eyes Shining Dragon. If you guys are enjoying the video, make sure to subscribe. Obviously, this one's expensive. But of course, we put in some work for this one because it is the 100,000 subscriber special. So we want it to be really good. Inside of this, we have eight mini boxes. Eight of these. Each of these, we should have a Gores, I think. I think there's a gores inside i'm gonna cut these open carefully because it, it is kind of a nice to have these uh, in good condition i think i'm actually gonna pull all these out at once because it's gonna take a while i have gotten all eight of these out because it would have taken a long time just to do that but we have retro pack 2 inside you have a gores the emissary of darkness secret rare which is actually worth a little bit as a promo which is nice and then inside we are looking for secret rares we're looking for Blue Eyes, Shining Dragon. It's a secret rare. There's also the Light and Darkness Dragon. Victory Dragon, Ring of Destruction. There's a ton of awesome ones inside these packs. However, it is the highest rarity you can pull. Secret rare. So it's going to be tough. We have pulled the Blue Eyes, Shining Dragon once before. I will share that video up there so you guys can see it if you have somehow not seen it. It was one of my best pulls ever. It got a PSA 9. I would love to get a PSA 10. I would love even just another one because they're really awesome. Or Dragon Master Knight, Harpy's Pet Dragon, any of the epic ones you can pull in here. There's also a Jinzo Ultra Rare. We pulled that in the every special edition opening, which was crazy. So let's just see what we can get. We've got a Dust Tornado. Air Knight Parshath. So we are going to start off with a rare right off the bat. The cool thing about these is all these epic old school cards. Call of the Haunted, Dust Tornado. Really good, like, hollow cards that they made into commons for Retro Pack 2. This set came out in, like, 2009. 
but it was a European set, so it was not widely distributed, so it's pretty rare. And it was the Blue Eyes Shining Dragon's highest rarity because it comes as super rare in the movie first, and then they upgraded it to this. We got the Goblin Attack Force. Book of Taiyu. Spirit messes in. It wasn't the L. That's a good sign. If it's the L, you're in big trouble. And a beta the gamma beta the gamma warrior. Beta the magnet warrior. There we go. Torrential tribute is just a combo, which is pretty cool. As you're a priest. I bet it's worth something because torrential has gotten pretty expensive recently. Alright, end of the first special edition. We've only gotten one hollow, the promo. But we will get eight of those. So we're really looking for something else besides that. I think the super rares aren't crazy valuable in here, but there are some pretty epic ones. We got the Parasite Parasite. We got the Gravekeeper's Chief. Dust Tornado. Gravity Bind. And a Chain Destruction, just a regular rare. So this is an Ultra Rare and Pharaoh Servant and becomes a rare. We have a Yada Grasu Common, Curse of the Mass Beast, and Call of the Haunted. It is 100,000 subscribers special today, which means I want to shout out all you guys. Everyone who has watched the videos, subscribed. I appreciate all you guys for the support. I appreciate all the creators who have supported me and helped me make my channel better, you know, improve it, especially Pokey Rev. Talk to him almost every day for the last like year or so. Shout out to him, of course. If you guys like Pokemon content, go check him out. Shout out to Simo for having me in his most recent, well, second most recent. It's kind of the same time as when John's came out, but with the uh, auction series is pretty cool. And just all these other awesome people that I've met, especially on Twitter, I've met a ton of cool people. And uh, don't forget people like Yu-Gi-Mo, smaller creators uh, that have been good friends of mine for many years at this point. Everyone on Instagram, that's where the roots are from. That's where I started. So everyone on Instagram, I appreciate you guys. And a dark room and nightmare. Oh, oh, a limiter removal. We got a super rare. Very nice. Interrupted our shout outs. The limiter removal, super rare. Very nice. Let's check out the condition. I think the back is usually a little bit foggy, but it doesn't look too bad. Very nice. Our first super rare of the video. We had some gold rares, but now we're getting into the supers. Very nice. And uh, guardian sphinx. Okay. And of course, everyone else, Chelsea, my family, appreciate all you guys supporting my decision to go full time into YouTube, which is pretty cool that we got to do that. So just in general, if you guys have supported me in any way, watch the video, subscribed, uh, been just a friend of mine, all that stuff. Oh, a mirror wall, ultra rare. They're just, they're just interrupting all the, the sentimental stuff. This comes as an ultra rare in here. I forgot about this. It's a higher rarity. That looks really cool. Look at the shifted name up there. It's a little bit high. It's apparently doing this uh, makes the pulls better. Just talking about uh, all you guys and all supporting the channel. Of course, the patrons and all that stuff. All right. Let's keep going. We want a secret rare. We've gotten a ultra rare and a super rare. Let's see if we can get a secret. We got a Gravekeeper's Chief. All the secret rares are awesome, but we the real one is Blue Eyes Shining Dragon. It's the one we want. Spear Dragon. Okay, I thought that was it for some reason. It's not. All right, next one. Hino Kagusuchi. We've pulled him a few times in our Retro Pack 2 openings over the, over the years, I guess. I've opened not a ton of this, but I have opened some. I opened that one with Rhyme Style, which was pretty fun. We pulled the Green Baboon Unlimited, which was really funny. I'm trying to think of what else we've opened. Maybe in just a couple, like a one in the Special Edition opening. We opened one in the Every Pack opening. So there's been a few here and there. We've still got a lot of epic stuff to open up. Even after we finish this, we have epic stuff to open up, which is pretty cool. Okay. Secret rare. Come on. You can also, you can get two secret rares in here. That's the cool thing. It's special edition, so it's random. We might get zero, though. That's the other thing. Melka the Four-Faced Beast. Master Restrict. Just a regular old common. I thought it was something else. Yamada Dragon. Just a regular rare. We got a Call the Haunted. No one will cross out the... We haven't gotten the L yet, which is nice. That is... I don't want to jinx anything. Let's maybe knock on wood for that one, but... Let's continue. I've never opened a booster box of this, by the way. If you can call this a booster box. It's the first time I've ever done it. So it's pretty exciting. I've just opened some loose blisters and... Oh, yeah. And then we, me and Rhyme Style did some against each other originally in video. So we got the Spear Dragon. We have actually opened a decent amount. Gravity Bind. We, we single-handedly made the price go up when we bought all those. Ooh, a Jam Defender. This one's really cool. Because you don't see this card very often. And it's very anime iconic. The Jam Defender, super rare. It's probably actually worth a decent amount because I don't know if there's another hollow printing of this. Actually, it's really nice. Okay, so we've now pulled what? Three supers and an ultra? Not bad. We'll see what the ratios turn out to be. There's not actual ratios, but it seems like we're pulling above them right now. Okay. It's interesting how they're all upside down. We got the card of safe return. Melka the Four Face Beast. There's some overpower cards like Card of Safe Return. Then you get Melka the Four Face Beast right after it. Tornado Wall. The Dust Tornado. And. 
Air Knight Parshath, yet again, another regular rare. I think that one does have some value as well, so not too bad. Five more Retro Pack 2s. So we got 15 more packs. We opened nine. We got a long way to go still. Long way to go. We haven't got that secret rare we're looking for, though. We have gotten, however, four gores, which is very cool. Three more packs. Let's go. Let's keep going. We have the Parasite Parasite. Appropriate. Mask Restrict. The Dust Tornado. Here we go. Ooh, Dark Necro Fear. That's a cool super rare. That's pretty cool. I don't know what the values exactly on these are. They used to be really cheap. They're probably up a little bit because Retro Pack is so expensive. But Super Rare Necro Fear actually looks nice. That looks really good. Azura Priest, another super. So we're pulling a lot of supers here. We need the other S rarity. We need the secret. Let's go. Secret rare, come on. Secret rare! If you guys remember that old outro, that was from Retro Pack 2. We pulled a, whatever that guy was called. The Guilford, the Archfiend of Guilford. That's what it's called. Nightmare Wheel, a regular rare Nightmare Wheel. We got the Thousand Eyes Idol Skull Invitation and Light Force Soul. We need to pull some uh, Weevil cards. Pecanio Moth come in this? I need to pull Pecanio Moth. Let's keep going. <laughs> Let's see what we can do. The Dust Tornado. The cool part is after this, we still have more epic packs, not just the Retro Pack 2. Bottomless Trap Hole. The Premature Burial as a common and... Chain Destruction, and you got the Thousand Eyes Idol, Gemini Elf, Book of Moon, and Guardian Sphinx. Halfway through, one Ultra, a bunch of Supers. Can we get a secret? Come on, guys. It's been a long time since we've opened something like this expensive for the personal, you know, opening. Oh, my goodness. Well, that one is uh, down for the count. I'm trying to remember our last big opening. I mean, I guess all the special editions, that was pretty big. But, like, in terms of, like, actually a rare item... When was it? I don't know. We have done some big ones. I can't, we did an MFC. That was... I don't remember when that was, but... That was in April, I think. Insect Imitation. Got the Spear Dragon. Gravity Bind. And... Magic Cylinder. We got the Gilda Source, Azurus Priest, the A, and the Provisions. Is this a sign that we're not pulling the L? I mean, that's a good thing, right? It's a good thing that we're not pulling the L. So maybe that means we're going to pull something big at the end. Our... No! Are you right now? So we had a damaged Guilford and we have a bent pack. Bent retro pack. You guys know how expensive these are. This is crazy. All right. If this has a secret rare, I'm going to cry. If this is a secret rare, I'm going to cry. I'm literally going to cry. Oh, thank goodness. I think it would have been worse to pull that right there. It would have been the saddest thing ever. Fortunately, it looks like that's the only bent pack so far. I hope the rest are not like that. Woo, okay. Yeah, it looks like this one might be bent as well. The way I can, I'm feeling it, it feels like it might be bent. Oh, how did this happen? I don't know because the box wasn't damaged. Yeah, another, another bent. There's the L. Yep, the, you're taking the L because they're bent cards. Yep, there it is. Hopefully that's all it's talking about. Please don't be a secret. Rare. Come on, please no. Oh no. Okay, it's a super rare. It's a lava golem. Oh, R.I.P. 100k special gone wrong here. <laughs> if this was a secret rare, then it would really have gone wrong. But lava golems, it's it's a cool card, but I mean, it's it's annoying, unfortunately. But it could be a lot worse. It could be like an actual secret rare. If that's the only two packs, then I'll get over it. If half the box is bent like that, we are in trouble. We are in trouble. That could have just been like factory, though. Hopefully, that is it. That's all we need. We don't need any more bending. We don't need more bending of the cards. I know some of you guys like bending the cards, but I personally do not. I do not like bend cards, especially when they're this expensive. This is, I think I paid $5,500 for this box overall. So... You can do the math about how much that how much that pack cost me. Let's see. Let's pull something good. Gravity bind. Parasite parasite. Appropriate. Nightmare wheel. Another nightmare wheel. It's a nightmare. Where are the secret rares? We only have one ultra. Come on. And Chelsea is calling me in the middle of the video. <sighs> Maybe she's sending us luck. Chelsea, send us the luck right here. Mask of Restrict. We've got the spirit message in. Opticlops, Gravity Bind, and Geoffrey the Iron Knight. We got the Yadagrasu and Gemini Elf. I'm getting nervous. We have not pulled anything crazy yet. And this is a pretty big box. This is all for you guys. All for you guys. This opening right here was for the people. Let's see. Dark Room and Nightmare. Now send your energy in the comments. We need to pull something good. Spirit Message in. 
Bazoo the Soul Eater for 100,000. Let's go. Don Zalug, it's coming down to the final special edition. Oh, no, it's not. Never mind. We have two more. Okay. I'm not that nervous yet, though. We got, we got six more packs. I'm still really nervous, to be honest. Any secret rare. We just need a secret. I want a good one, but it doesn't have to be a good one. A secret rare is a secret rare. Not Gores, though, because that's, you know, comes with it. <laughs> Six more retro pack, two. Then we have our Metal Raiders Unweighed First Edition pack. We have Unweighed First Edition. Woo! Invasion of Chaos. All right. And then we have the retro pack, two, retro pack one, supposedly heavy. We have the Goblin Attack Force. Optic Ops. Trying to say too much at once. Bottomless Trap. Oh, come on. Like button for luck here. Here we go. Beta. The Magnet Warrior. Another rare. Five more packs. Do you believe in the heart of the cards? Because we need some luck for 100,000 subscribers. First of all, once again, thanks to everyone for 100,000 subscribers. Now, will we manifest an, ep an epic pull here? Destiny Board. That's pretty cool. We got the whole final set in this opening, so that's pretty awesome. A super rare destiny board that looks really cool i do like the supers they just look really nice in this set you know what else looks nice the secret rares the secret rares do as well one more pack and then we go on to the final special edition and then we can really start panicking okay blue eyes shining dragon appear melga the four faced faced beast gravekeepers chief tornado wall dust tornado and the legendary fisherman we get a book of moon Thousand Eyes Idol. The nerves are coming. The final Gores, number eight. Gores, number eight, please bring us some luck. Three packs left. We are searching for the epic. Blue Eyes Shining Dragon. It is a very difficult one to pull. Just keep in mind when you watch that video of when we pulled it, how hard it is to actually pull. So keep that in mind how epic that was. Now let's pull it here again. <laughs> Massive Restrict. Insect Imitation. And... Oh. Oh. Oh, Buster Blader. It's only a super, but hey, we had the Buster Blader curse. We finally broke it. Now we can pull it out of all the sets. Buster Blader, super rare. Oh, it's all super rares. Where are the secrets and ultras? We have one ultra. Okay. Second to last pack. It's a good pull. It's a good pull, but man, we want a secret rare. Come on. Melka the Four-Faced Beast. Spirit message in. Reckless greed. We're being a little greedy here. Appropriate. Let's get a secret. Morphing jar. That's a cool rare. We finally got that one. Okay. We're down in the final pack, so we are going to pull out everything that we have here. We have four more packs. I think that we need to save retro pack. Let's start off with the Invasion of Chaos pack from the third party blister. Let's open this thing a little bit savagely with these scissors. Be careful not to cut the pack. Oh yeah, and there's extra cards. I forgot there were extra cards in here. There's the SDK. We got SDK comments. So it shows you how long ago they packed this thing up. First edition Invasion of Chaos. Inside, I think this is probably a retail pack, but you guys can check that for yourself. Uh, if it is a retail, we can't pull Chaos Emperor, but we can still pull the Black Luster Soldier Envoy of the End. So, or beginning, sorry, I got confused there. The beginning, uh, maybe I've been saying his name wrong this whole time. That's why we can't pull him. Sea Servant Warrior of Darkness. We got a Chaos End. Or we could pull Demok. I would take that too. Big Koala. Any Hollow would be awesome. Thunder Crash. And... <sighs> Enraged Battle Ox. Just a regular Enraged Battle Ox. We got the Cursed Silver Bin Spell. We'll save our luck for these last three. Next, let's do the Metal Raiders First Edition pack. This is the oldest pack of them all. It has not been unsealed since I got it from Lewis Vintage Yu-Gi-Oh. This thing is straight up legit. It's right out of a box. I don't know what the results were from everyone else's pack. During the stream, he did not pull an Ultra. We still have hope for an Ultra. What would I like? I do have a Beast Skull and Summon Skull and a Magic Jammer and PSA 10. So I want like a Time Wizard or a Barrel Dragon or something like that. Obviously, I would not complain if I got doubles of those other ones, but... Let's see what we can pull from this box. That was from a box break. The oldest pack we have in the opening. First edition. The second set ever. We have a Jurai Gumo. Could we get the Pecanio Moth first edition? And Sinner, because we need a PSA 10. Destroyer Golem. Blackland Fire Dragon. The Prevent Rat. Here's where the Hollow would be right after this. If not, we still have the Pecanio Moth chance. Here we go. Little Chimera. Okay, let's see if we can get the Pequeno. Rabbit Horseman. Pumpkin. Paralyzing Potion. Our last chance. And Insect Soldiers of the Sky. Ah, oh, it's a dud. We did not pull anything out of that pack. 
So far, our pulls have been pretty rough. However, we do have two more chances. And also, this is about celebrating 100,000, having fun, all that stuff. I know you guys want to see the big pulls too, but at least, you know, at least we get to open them, have fun. Last pack of Retro Pack 2. Could it possibly bless us with the secret rare we have not pulled out of the box? Melkin. I'll take Blue Eyes Shining Dragon. I'll take Harpy's Pet Dragon. Dra Dragon Master Knight. Ring of Destruction. Light and Darkness Dragon. Any of those. They're all awesome. Reckless Greed. All right, we got one more, I think. Appropriate, and here we go. Come on. Magic Cylinder. The box had no secret rare. Let's see if the supposedly heavy retro pack one pack and salvage the opening because so far it's been rough i am 0 for 8 opening this set this is an interesting way you can open these 0 for 8 i've never pulled a hollow but we don't know how the weights really work so they, it was weight heavy but we don't know if it actually worked or not inside you can pull some crazy secret rares. you can pull the uh harpies i already forgot the harpy secret rare the cyber harpy lead there we go and some other awesome ones. And the back corners are usually messed up. So we'll check that if we do pull something. Hard day. There's also a scapegoat in here, which is a ton of money. Elegant Egotist. Pretty much any hollow. We've got a giant soldier of stone. And it's an effect monster. Could it be that harpy? Cyber harpy lady. There we go. Come on. Let's get something. Kaiba Man Secret Rare. It was a secret rare. Our first ever pull from Retro Pack 1 as a hollow. Is Kaiba Man Secret. It does have a print dot up there, which is totally fine. Let's check the back corners. No, the back corner. Okay, there it is. There's a little bit. That's actually not that bad for Retro Pack 1. They're usually a lot worse, to be honest. So that's actually in really good condition. A Secret Rare Kaiba Man. I, I totally forgot about this card. I really like it. Obviously, a Kaiba slash Blue Eyes card, which is really cool. Overall, it was a pretty rough video, but this Kaiba Man really showed up for us and actually got us something at the end and the rest of the pack here okay that was an awesome video we ended it with an amazing pull a secret rare from retro pack is absolutely crazy rare i've never even pulled a hollow from that set so that was an awesome way to end it i appreciate you guys who have supported me up to 100,000 subscribers we're just getting started because we are going to be doing this channel obviously full time so i'm going to continue what i've been doing and hopefully improve and make it even better in the future Shout out to TCG, Trusted Cards, Tone Flow Show, Tomato Juice, Cody J6490, Stanley, Mike Nance, and Mimic Gecko. I appreciate you guys supporting the channel. And that's it for this 100,000 subscriber special. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys next time. Peace.